Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Domains of Mystery. In this video I'll be doing the Tower of Eternal Flames and I'm playing a male orc thief. As you can see I'm on the final level and I have already read a scroll of magic mapping so I can see the entire level. I also dug a nice little corridor to the Temple of the Flames. I have my Amulet of Life saving just in case. My uh, Chaos Orb of Elemental Water for healing. Potions of extra healing and so on. So uh, I'm ready. This is the ancient chaos worm. This creature is more than a dragon and less than it. The enormous reptilian head and the great scale torso give it its distinct draconic features. Yet it looks as though it never had grown wings and it only has one pair of legs close to the head. As you look closer it looks less and less like a dragon. The legs are thin and bony, almost like those of a bird. As you watch, the shape and features keep shifting. Parts of the skin suddenly grow hair, which then transforms into feathers, then into a weird crust, then into translucent, translucent smooth skin, then into the surface of a dark, slimy liquid. And the color behind the head grows and absorbs snakes' heads, tentacles, long trembling spider legs, stiff thorns and leathery strings lashing at the air. You realize that the worm must be at least in part a creature of chaos itself and probably part of it always resides in the realm of chaos. Although it might be impossible to kill it outright in this world, you are determined to make it give up its abode on this plane. The ancient chaos worm has a speed of 140, which is uh, quite above average. The chaos worm can <coughs> cast several spells each turn, generally speaking, considering that the player normally has about 100 speed, it means the Chaos Worm can cast a Bolt spell and heal itself all on one turn. We're not gonna give the Worm a fair fight, I'm just simply gonna disable it by throwing a Potion of Cure Corruption at it, which will severely damage and severely limit its functioning. I do not have a very good method of killing it because my weapon is kind of <laughs> well below mediocrity. I have only a very limited amount of slaying ammunition. So and I have a very low bow and crossbow skill, so we'll see how it goes. The chaos servants can see invisible, so first I have to defeat the chaos servants, but the worm is already awoken, so we're going to try to avoid that the worm would have a straight line at us. So we're going to try to keep something between us and the worm. As you can see I'm regenerating, although I'm not carrying any regeneration items, so I guess it's not real regeneration. gonna come and pay us a little visit. Uh, for this 
area you need to have high willpower because the worm does a lot of confusing attacks and if you don't have decent willpower then it will confuse you and if you get confused by the worm and there is nothing between you and him you're as good as dead I recommend to have about 200 hit points or more you could do it with less but this is safer because the worm can easily do 100 plus hit points in damage each turn if you have about 200 hit points you can take two hits usually and you can still survive if you're smart enough to run of course and heal so I'm gonna try to train up my crossbow skill on these demons but yeah, I'll probably miss a lot so this might not be a good idea level one so I'm gonna cast farsight I also have um, one cast of ice ball which I will probably have to use whoops the chaos worm breathes fire at you yeah, but fire is not a problem. I, uh, I'm wearing a ring of ice to protect my equipment. If you don't have a ring of ice, then you will lose a lot of items. You need to have a fireproof blanket if you don't have if you don't have a ring of ice to protect your inventory. But the stuff that you're carrying, I mean your uh, equipment can still be damaged if you don't have a ring of eyes so the worm is trying to confuse me crossbow level 2 now do you want to I'll take my mitral quarrels that was a good hit so I will probably get level three maybe four in crossbows before I fight the worm so now it's <coughs> now it's dangerous normally if I'm playing a wizard I could just keep doing a um, frost bolts but I uh, I can't do that because uh, this is an assassin and not a wizard Ancient Chaos Worm is paralyzed. That's good. Mm -hmm. I can abuse that. I'm gonna use my um, Blessed Arrows of Construct Sling and hopefully one shot kill the Fire Demon. You miss. You miss. Yeah, that was annoying. I'm gonna bless the arrows. I'm gonna try paralyzing once more. It is paralyzed. Now I'm gonna shoot it. Miss. And finally a hit. Now I'm gonna go into coward mode and I'm gonna throw a potion of cure corruption in his face so he's still paralyzed the ancient chaos worm appears to be weakened the liquid also seems to burn the ancient chaos worm the blessed potion of cure corruption shatters Excellent. I will load two 
quarrels of dragon slaying onto my crossbow and I will fire it at the worm you miss Ugh, the chaos worm is healing some of its wounds you exactly hit the ancient chaos worm and severely injure it Ancient Chaos Worm invokes an incantation. You barely avoid the energy blast. I should probably have charged my Wand of Paralyzation. Because it looks like I only have one. The ancient chaos room seems to get stuck in some webs. Yeah, that's probably because I just cast some webs there. So again, I'll put some webs between him and me, and then I'll uh, I have two adamantum arrows of slain. Hopefully, they will hit. Let's see how much damage we can do. You miss. Oh, that was dangerous. So let's see what I can do. My willpower is 32. That means that my the range on my ball spells will be higher than if it's lower you get the extra range at 16 and 32 and then every 16 willpower after that will increase the range of your ball spells by one if I'm not mistaken I can try the uh, construct slaying 8R. I think I'll just recharge my uh, my wants. Chaos Worm come, come a little bit closer. Some kind of force seems to attack your mind. The fire demon is paralyzed. And the ancient chaos worm shrugs of the paralyzation ray. And he shrugs it again. And again. it off and 
And finally, it is paralyzed about time. Arrows of construct slain? No. Blessed arrow of demon slain. Let's see. You miss. God damn it. Blessed arrow of slain. You miss. Well, I'll just load up my arrows of darkness. The ancient chaos worm is also blinded by a dark globe rising from your missile. Yep, that's what arrows of darkness do. You improve your skill with bows to level 5. I'll just keep uh, pilfering it with some ammunition. And I might get maybe a level out of it in, in bows if I'm lucky. And again I just recharge my wand with some booze. Last arrow of slain. Bam! You exactly hit the ancient chaos worm and you kill it. Congratulations, you advanced to level 18. Oh, I have mining, I didn't know that. pick up the cooked ancient chaos worm corpse and I'll give it to the druid for an extra potion of cure corruption so this is the fire temple and that concludes this video see you next time